Hello everyone and welcome to Kernel of Wisdom. I'm Joelle and today I'm talking about mindfulness as a spiritual practice. Well, this is a tricky one. Truth. Mindfulness does incorporate a lot of Eastern philosophy and spiritual practices into it. But does that make it an inherently spiritual practice itself? For one, I think that depends on how you define spirituality. In its simplest form, the word spirituality comes from the Latin word spiritus, which literally means the breath of life. So loosely defined, spirituality means whatever makes us feel alive, whatever gives us meaning in life. So yeah, in this sense, mindfulness can be a spiritual practice. It can help us feel more alive. It can help us explore whatever makes us feel sunny and bright and awesome inside. It can help us take in and appreciate the full breath of life. But in the same sense, nature or music or art or sports can all be spiritual practices too if they give meaning to our life and help us feel like we live with purpose. Now the thing is, a lot of people think of spirituality in terms of religion. And religion is something that can give a lot of people meaning or a sense of purpose in life. But secular mindfulness, the way it's taught by a lot of Westerners, myself included, is not religious. There are no rules or commandments. It's not dogmatic. There's no right or wrong way to meditate, and there's no need to believe in anything in particular to do it. Mindfulness is simply about paying attention on purpose without judgment and in the present moment. So you can absolutely make mindfulness part of your religious practice. You can use mindfulness meditation to explore your faith or your relationship with whatever higher power you believe in or even try to sense that higher power within yourself and others. In fact, it's been said that prayer could be defined as talking and meditation as listening. But this is not an inherent part of mindfulness or a requirement of any sort. You can be whoever you want to be and believe in whatever you want to believe in and still practice mindfulness meditation. And if you find a teacher that tells you otherwise and it makes you uncomfortable, that teacher might just not be the right fit for you. So keep looking for a teacher that's going to allow you to practice mindfulness meditation in whatever way works best for you. Well, I hope this video helps to explain mindfulness as a possible spiritual, but not necessarily religious practice. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a note or post them in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe for more mindful videos from Kernel of Wisdom. Have a great day and happy meditating. Bye.